So I switched game engines because Unity has decided to basically put them on fire. They have removed most of the fire, but the damage were already done. So I've been looking to other game engines out there. First, I tried Godot. Godot is a free and open source game engine that focuses on node composition. Okay, so let's try it out. Unity works with game objects, each containing a list of components, for example, transform, sprite renderer, and script that you make yourself. Unity uses C Sharp, as for Godot, it uses their own language, GDScript. But the problem with both is that they heavily depend on inheritance and references between components. Godot works with node structures. A scene is a node that has a collection of nodes. For example, scene 1 can contain kinematic body 2D node with a sprite node each containing their properties. There are still things I liked in Godot. For example, their signal system. For example, let's say you have an enemy. The enemy is a kinematic body 2D. This node has a signal called onbody entered. So you take that signal, name it whatever you like, and write your enemy logic in this function signal. In the beginning, I have planned to use it, but then I came across another engine. Bevy, a young data-driven game engine that focuses on ECS, or Entity Component System. Basically, you have your group of components that are containers with plain datas. Then you have systems that represent functions that operate on a specific selection of components. No more references between components. They only rely on system. If they don't exist anymore, the system wouldn't look out for them. Bevy uses Rust as the programming language and has no graphical user interface. So now, let's learn it. I started by following a four-part series on how to start with Bevy. And then, five-part series on how to make a platformer in Bevy using Rapier. And this is the final result. He can jump, move left and right, just basic features, but that's because I'm learning Bevy and it will take some time to get the hang of it. But I don't care, as long as it's fun. Thanks for watching and see you next time.